and gave you five years to figure Next weekend, the Concha Del Mar hosts Park After Dark, featuring exciting decorations, competition, and rewards. And in the city, earn double XP on Valentine's Day by wearing eligible Feel the Love items. Feel the love and spread the love. Then check out Rival Day, where you can help your affiliation become the new champions of the city. What's not to love about that? That's it for me. Now get out there and get that tiger. Cutting right through the heart of the city, the Chicago River and the Windy City are setting today. Greetings, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for our latest presentation of NBA basketball. With Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. With us tonight, two-time MVP, Candace Parker. Hey there, Candace. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me today. And here we can check out the story for DeMar DeRozan. And he's been outstanding offensively as of late. These last five games, he's been a beast at the offensive end. A different level score than he had been earlier in the season. Let's see if he can keep it up. Now the starting group for the Sacramento Kings. Damata Sabonis out there with Barnes. Then there's Mitchell. Then there's De'Aaron Fox. And it's Holmes in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Bulls, they've got DeSumu. Nikola Vucevic is out there with Green. Then there's Zach Levine, and it's DeRozan in at the three, the small forward. And Candace Nikola Vucevic, always a consistent producer. Do fans underrate how much Vucevic helps a team, you think? I do. I think Vuce is that guy that could get you a triple-double on a nightly basis. He's a guy that can play big minutes for a championship contending team. Now here's Levine. DeRozan outside, over Fox. Boy, he clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. I mean, what do you expect when you give him the clear look? That's just too easy. Now he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that it's a mistake to give up a shot like that. Here's Fox. Pass to Holmes. Just five on the clock, and it's going to be a three-second call. Here's Desumu. DeRozan right side. No good. A bit long that time. Well, it's been a long time since the Bulls have been relevant, but Candace, there are signs that the franchise might be on the upswing. Well, there's this guy called Zach Levine. I enjoy watching him play, enjoy watching his growth. Obviously, Kobe White is another backcourt mate that I see a lot of potential. In. I didn't realize he could shoot the rock like he shot it. So I think that that's a backcourt that's worth developing. Now, that's an assertive offensive talent. DeRozan is able to use his size to his advantage. Fox, the pass to Holmes. Basket counts. Rashawn this is why you put the ball in his hands. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. Here's DeSumo. He's covered by Fox. DeRozan against Barnes. And no good. So Sacramento will take it the other way. To the paint. Here's Holmes. Oh, it's Holmes with the big jam. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Pass to Levine. Shoots over Holmes. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Chicago. They split the two games they played last year. Both teams really struggled to find wins throughout the season. Yeah, they matched up very evenly, and that's not a compliment to either side. Last season was a struggle for both squads, and now they're each looking to turn the corner. 
There was a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Well, the NBA looking at a mid-season tournament but that's already off the ground in the WNBA with the Commissioner's Cup. All right, Candace, how do you like it? Well, I'd like it a lot more if uh, my team was in the Commissioner's Cup, but it was uh, it was great. I think it made you know regular season games that much more competitive, and it made playing for something in the first part of the season. And how about our AT&T 5G Slam Cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Three-pointer, Fox. Kept alive by Sacramento. The Bulls have gone three of six since the tip. Barnes against DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Now here's Fox. Last game, 26 points for him. That one rolls around and rims out. To the inside. And it's hammered home by Green. And this is where Levine continues to improve. His awareness of everyone around him. The Kings trailing. Mitchell, the pass to Holmes. Now Fox. Well, some time now has passed since the WNBA bubble, Candace. Looking back at that time, what stands out the most to you? Well, for the last six or seven months, we weren't allowed to say bubble in my household. Um, it was a unique experience, one that I am very happy to have been a part of. Um, just in terms of what that season meant to the WNBA and just in sports and social justice and everything that the country was going through at the time. So to be a part of that was great, but just one time, yeah, not again. Well, the WNBA crowned the champion, and maybe most importantly, as always, a leader in the social justice movement. Here's Mitchell. After the basket by Chicago. Fox outside. Shot clock at five. Late clock here. The Kings need to get one up. The three from Barnes. Rebounded by Green. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. An incredible athlete. I like when Levine elects to finish with power at the basket. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Time called here. The Kings decide to talk it over. Boy, you have to like what we're seeing from DeMar DeRozan. Yeah, the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there, so it should come to no surprise that he continues to attack the basket. Chicago ends up going with a new group. And we've got a moment to look at the rebounding trend over the last few months for Rashawn Holmes. And the last couple of months, the rebounding totals have taken a bit of a dive for him. Let's see if he can refocus and put more effort on the glass. A minute four left to play in the first quarter. Back to Lynn. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. Well, seven foot one, 250 plus pounds. He's just so good at pushing through contact as Alex Lynn. Pass to Thomas. Back to White. Here's McKinney, five on the clock. From deep, Lynn pulls it in. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Holiday. Lynn inside. Bradley grabs the board. Outside, Brown. Up top, White. Here's Thomas. White on the wing. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his. Petty play to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. 